In this video you will learn how to install Minisplit systems professionally. Now this video is for your do-it-yourselfer jack-of-all-trades. If you are a technician coming out of school or just uh, someone who wants general knowledge professional advice on how to correctly install these systems. I've been doing this for about 15 years and I love what I do and here you will receive free knowledge on how to professionally install these systems. So enjoy. Here we will cover everything from the appropriate position of installation, preparation of installation tools, preparation before installation, installation of the indoor unit, installation of your outdoor unit, how to correctly perform a vacuum, and your leak detection, and your trial operation after your system is installed. Appropriate position for installation. An appropriate position should be chosen before the installation of your split air conditioner. Here are some inappropriate positions of installation. There is a heat source or steam source near your installation position. There are obstacles which block the air circulation of the installation position. There is fume or droplet in the installation position. Being too close to combustible objects such as curtains, clothing, and other movable items. Position which is within 40 inches, far away from television, stereo, and other household appliances. Ventilation is poor, and there are obstacles around which may affect the airflow. Position where flammable, explosive, or corrosive gas may leak. It is highly recommended that you use Bluefin or Goldfin anti-corrosion air conditioners for areas like Seaside where corrosion is very strong. It is recommended to build shelters above the outdoor unit in the area with heavy snow or rain. It is recommended to build a barrier in front of the outdoor unit towards the wind direction in a strong windy area. Choose a position with well ventilation but also sheltered from the rain and direct sun exposure if possible. When the outdoor unit is installed along the street, an additional wind backflow device should be taken into consideration to prevent wind from blowing pedestrians directly. Preparation of installation tools. For your installation, these tools may be used to aid you. Pressure gauge, vacuum pump, electric drill, leak detector, Digital clamp meter and multimeter. Preparation before installation. Pipe cutting. Cut the pipe slowly and keep increasing force gradually. Make sure your cut is straight and there are no deformation. Remove burr side with scraper. Use rubberized vinyl tape to wrap your pipe to prevent any foreign materials from entering your pipe. Sheath the insulating pipe. Sleeve the nut. Firmly hold leveled copper pipe and adhere to the dimensions shown in the table. Use your fixed flaring tool turning the handle clockwise and stopping when the flarer rattles. Now observe your pipe socket. It should be leveled and uniform, free of any cracks. Wire stripping. Select applicable wiring to rated current value. Please use stranded wire versus solid core wire. Use wire stripper to strip wire cord. Use wire crimper to attach U-type plug. And pay close attention to your line wire versus your signal wire. Installation of your indoor unit. Open your box and make sure that your accessories are complete. Space requirement for the installation of your indoor unit. The right and left of your indoor unit should be at least 5 inches away from the wall. The upper side should have a minimum of 6 inches and the lower side should have a minimum of 90 inches from the floor. This will ensure proper heat transfer and airflow. Align mounting plate with the plotted position of screw. If it is a cement wall, insert the plastic sleeve firstly and then fix the installation plate with tapping screws. Making sure your plate is level. Determine the wall hole position according to the exit pipe direction and location of outdoor unit. 
Attention should be paid that the inside hole should be approximately 0.5 inches higher than the outside hole. Now you make sure you put on your wall socket. Connection of connecting pipe. Insulating sleeve is cut 4 to 6 inches to facilitate the connection with the connecting copper pipe and to prevent any possible bends. Remove nut cap of copper pipe. You should hear nitrogen come out, ensuring there are no leaks. Cone should be vertical to top pipes. When nut is near to the bottom of bolt, tighten with wrench. Tighten and loosen it moderately to ensure further tightening. Firstly, connect your low pressure pipe and then connect your high pressure pipe. Connection of drain pipe. Most units feature a two-way drainage function and the selection of the interface should be according to the outdoor unit position. Note that during the selection of the drain pipe interface, unused ports should be sealed with a rubber plug. Seal drain pipe interface with adhesive to prevent any loosening and leakage. Cooling is not allowed for water pipe. Heat insulation Heat insulation material is applied for wrapping drain pipe to prevent condensation and leakage. Connection of indoor power wire and signal wire. Open the panel and loosen the screw fixing your top cover of your electrical box. Put the signal wire and power wire through your wire outlet through the back of your unit. Connect your wires referring to your wiring diagram located on your unit. Special attention should be made to ensure your wires are not inversely connected. This error can damage your PCB and not allow your system to function properly. Maintain appropriate curvature to ensure proper connection and prevent loosening of wire under stress. Compress the connecting wire with press wire card. Pull the wire back moderately to ensure the connection is secure. Mount the cover of electric control box. Wrapping is conducted in order, where power wire and signal wire are in the upper side. Connecting pipe is in the middle and water is on the lower side. Reserve the copper screw position during wrapping for leak detection. Copper pipe should be sealed to prevent dust and foreign materials from entering. When going through the wall, hang the indoor unit. Copper pipe and power wire are threaded slowly through the wall hole. Hang the indoor unit on the hook on the mounting plate and secure your indoor unit. The installation of your indoor unit with embedded piping. Mark out the positioning points on a cardboard for installation according to the length of the input pipe. Cut out the cover of the exit pipe. According to the position of wall hole, confirm the position of the exit drain pipe. Connect copper pipe. Note that the copper pipe should be free of bending and any deformation. Adjust the length of your drain pipe according to the position of your drain pipe. Please note that the drain pipe should be sealed with adhesive tape. Reserve the copper screw position during wrapping for leak detection. Installation of outdoor unit. Space requirement for the installation of your outdoor unit. Note that you should have at least 12 inches from your left space and about 24 inches from your right space. No less than 24 inches of upper space. No less than 12 inches for back space to ensure proper heat transfer. No less than 78 inches for front space. When the outdoor unit is installed on the ground. Select the installation position of your outdoor unit. Note that a drain elbow should be installed in the outdoor unit. According to footing distance, drill into the expansion bolts. Now, locate the outdoor unit into the expansion bolts. Use washers. Connection of outdoor drain pipe. Heat pump air conditioner is required to connect to drain pipe for outdoor unit. Gasket ring is sheathed on adapter of the water outlet and turned a 90 degrees once it is stalled on the bottom of the outdoor unit in the chassis. Drain pipe is sheathed and inserted into outdoor drain pipeline.
Connection of outdoor connecting pipe. Pipe laying and wrapping. Connection of the outdoor connecting pipe. Screw top bolt to the bottom of your globe valve and tighten with wrench. Make sure you loosen and tighten again for further tightening. This action will prevent any possible leaks. Bending requirement for connecting pipe. Bending radius of connecting pipe should be more than 4 inches. Pay attention not to squash and bend your pipe during bending. When exit hole is located lower than the indoor unit, a waterproof bend downward is required to prevent any rainwater from entering the interior. Connection of outdoor power wire and signal wire. Open the large handle of the outdoor unit. Connection is conducted with identifier with reference to outdoor schematic. Attention should be paid that mode of connection should correspond with indoor side. Incorrect wiring will result in damage to your indoor and outdoor main PCB. Unscrew the retaining screw of the press wire card when threading the wire, pay attention to maintain suitable curvature and make sure to tuck back on your wires to ensure a proper connection. Mount the press wire card and tighten the screws. Pull the wire back moderately and ensure the connection is secure. Mount the large handle. Vacuum. Connection of vacuum pump. One end of the filler hose should be connected to the vent of the vacuum pump. The other end is connected to the filler valve of your low pressure valve. Open low pressure valve of low pressure gauge. Keep high pressure valve closed normally. Ensure you are pulling a proper vacuum. We regularly require 500 microns to ensure a proper vacuum. Once standing vacuum is reached, close your low pressure valve on your gauge. Now turn off your vacuum pump. After 5 minutes, check the pressure of your low pressure gauge. It should have no change whatsoever. Open your cap and loosen your high pressure valve a quarter tap when pressure gauge is reading 0.5 MPa. Then tighten high pressure valve. There should be no change for a period of 1 minute. It is recommended to use a micron gauge and pull at least a 500 micron vacuum. Remove your hose and open valve core of low and high pressure valves fully and replace your caps. Leak detection. Leak detection is conducted under standby mode condition in summer and under heating condition in winter. Leak detector detection. Probe moves around weld junction and maintain a one centimeter space to ensure leak detection. Leak detector is done in a very slow manner, making sure that your leak detector is fitting every single part of the piping and your welds, every single area, all through the circumference of the pipe. If leak is detected, remove probe for leak testing and confirmation. Trial operation. Open the indoor unit and pour some water to check your drainage is smooth. After it is confirmed that the drain pipe is clear, it is reinserted back in your outdoor drain pipeline. Current detection. Use clamp meter to determine if the air conditioner is running within current values. Voltage detection. Voltage meter is adjusted to AC voltage and with your red clamp connected in your L wire. Black pin connected to N. Measure if running voltage is within parameters. When your air conditioner is operating. Use insulation to prevent any foreign materials from entering the wall hole. Now enjoy your air conditioner. Thank you for learning with me. Please stay tuned for more instructional videos. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button below.